and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for hanging out with us today as we attend the Vintage Market Days here in Waxahachie, Texas that was at the Expo Center. Now, on this night, this is Thursday night where we did the Influencers event, so we got a chance to meet a lot of great people, and one of the people that you see me showcasing is the Bandit Baker. She is another baker here located in Waxahachie, Texas, and she is doing some amazing things, you guys. I invite you to check her out. I'm going to put every link to every vendor here on in the description box. Also, at this event, I got a chance to make this amazing owl cake. Uh, all fonded. Love doing it. Love creating it. And was excited that I got a chance to bring it. You guys, I made the owl cake. I did pumpkin pie cupcakes. I did decorative cookies and I also did, um, let me see, what are they called? Turtle, chocolate turtle cupcakes for the event. And I had so much fun and they were a big hit with everyone. So I was so excited and humbled when they asked me to be a part of this event as part of the influencers and allowed me to come in and vlog the event to give you an inside look at what goes on at the Vintage Market Days. Now, this is just a sneak peek of the building empty so that you can see how many vendors they have that do amazing work. I invite you to come out to wherever they're having a vintage market days and go support these vendors. I'm going to let you look around and then I'll come back on and tell you more about the event. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow we can miss out. guys we are on our way to the vintage market days here um, in Waxahachie, Texas at the Expo Center so this was what you saw me cooking and getting everything ready for and that was what the owl cake was for that you saw me making that I did a time-lapse of us and everything so we're gonna head there and I'm gonna vlog the whole event and vlog what we have going on. Okay, give me one second, you guys. All right, you guys, we're at the Vintage Market Days here at the Expo Center, and we're gonna go in. I'm thanking God for the parking attendants because they led us straight to a parking spot. And I'm like, oh God, thank you, Lord. So we're going to go in and look around. They have food trucks and everything like that here. Malcolm asked immediately, where are the food trucks? And then they have a lot of vendors here also. We came for the premiere event, and that was because um, I'm just now getting associated with them. And I really do love the whole atmosphere. I'm anything vintage. I love vintage. So yes. It is full out here, you guys. It is very full on the inside. I already got some videos from when we came on Thursday. And it was when it was empty. So everybody could see. So when we came on Thursday, I got some videos already. And now here we can go ahead of me. I'm sorry, I'm just waiting on my daughter. <laughs> and I already got some video and footage of that. So now you'll kind of see how everything goes and how it's full and when it's not empty, how it looks. So yeah, this is so much fun. So, we're in the event. They have an ATM machine for those who are in need. They have plenty of food trucks here. So everything you see, this is what you're coming to when you come to this event. And like I said, from Thursday, you'll get a chance to see how the building looks empty. And now you can see how the building looks when it's full of people. And they have a full event going on. 
So we're gonna go around and I'm gonna show you what it's like with Vintage Days at the market and I'm gonna show you, you know, some of the great items and some of the great stuff you can expect from some of these vendors. I mean, from everything. So, hi. So I mean, you have some great vendors here. And when you come, and I mean you guys, these vendors come from all over. They come from all over doing this event. And they come with a lot of handmade stuff and crafts that they are really, you know, you get some unique finds and some unique stuff here. this whole little area right here this is so cute to me if you guys didn't know I'm country chic <laughs> so this whole little area they have a lot of signs and everything so this whole little area is really cute to me and I just love everything about it oh my god this is so gorgeous and this comes from anchored bliss I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm trying to get her sign. And her name is Anchor Bliss. And she has the cutest clothing. This is the prettiest shawl I've ever seen. They have the cutest little clothing in here. Look at this jumpsuit. She sells jewelry and different t-shirts and everything like that. I mean, some of the prettiest clothing. We do, yeah. <laughs> we do, yeah. We don't have any more of that shirt. No. I'm going to get a car from her. No, and I'm also going to tag her. So. Yeah. Hi. 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 Yeah, absolutely. Yes, ma'am. And I'm going to pick up one of her cars. And this is the one I'm at right now, Anchor Bliss. That's where I'm showing you that cute outfit. And she does. You guys, she has an online to where you can get it online and everything. You definitely take a card. And do you sell online? We do, yes. We okay, do. so she does sell online, you guys. Yes. Okay, yes. Go visit her website and go check her out. Please, please. All right, thank you, sweetie. No problem. And her name, like I said, is Anchor Bliss. And it is gorgeous. And here's her card. You guys, where they, you can come and you can look at this. Now, this is interesting. Definitely. Now, she is, now we're getting ready for Christmas, so this will be out before Christmas. You say hi. <laughs> now, I'm at the Painted Shed. There we go. So you can see, and she's a part of the Vintage Market Days, and she'll be in different areas. So here is the website and she also has an online store also that you can go to and she has some really cute items that you can go online and look for. Especially in preparation for Christmas and everything. So yeah. There we go. 
Oh, this is this looks good. <laughs> Fresh mini donuts, free sample. Now these are mini donuts. They're awesome. Yes. Yeah. You want a sample? <laughs> My daughter's gonna try it. And they have a lot of things. They make everything from scratch. Oh wow, they make everything from scratch, you guys. But you know, I'm a part of that. Okay, you want to come back and look again one? If he like it, you did good. <laughs> you did real good. All right, we just got here. We're gonna be coming back. Yeah. <laughs> I know I just talked, so I don't want to pop in with too many voiceovers because you'll hear me talking throughout the video, and I want you kind to get an idea of what these vendors had to offer. This is Cashmere Cubs. I did not get a chance to record every business card I received, mainly because I was looking and looking at their clothing and everything like that. So the ones where I saw that I didn't record their, their cards, I do post pictures of their cards up here. Now, they had amazing things here, you guys. I encourage you. Vintage Market Days is not just in Waxahachie, but they have it in various places. So when they're doing a Vintage Market Day in your area, go check out some of the selection these vendors have. You can find some amazing Christmas decor like you see right here. And um, she's actually connected to the next booth that I'm going around to show you now. And she has some amazing stuff. The telephone that I'm actually about to get ready to show you is similar to a telephone my grandmother used to have. And I fell in love with that item. Okay, I didn't buy it, but I fell in love with it. And I was like, oh my God, I was showing it to my kids and telling them about it. But they have amazing stuff here. So go check them out and go see what they have to offer. The next booth after this one is my favorite booth. I am so sorry. When you look at the, I call them um, cake containers because they have a globe and you can put your cakes in, but she used them for decor. Everything rustic and chic. Love my country chic, love woods, love different things. We actually got a chance to meet Thursday night briefly, but we got a chance to really talk here. She has some amazing stuff. Now, she is a vendor that sells on Etsy, and what she does is she closes her shop while she's doing an event, and then she opens it back up after on Etsy so people can purchase. She had amazing clothing, everything. It was just amazing, you guys. So I encourage you to go check her out. Together forever, never to part. I want to be with you Cause that is what my heart says This is what my heart says I wanna be with you always Always, yeah You are my world in every place Here's another one that has some beautiful quilts and everything and a lot of homemade decor. I didn't want to stay too long on their stuff to not, you know, because they make this stuff from hand and sometimes you just want to keep it to yourself and you don't want everybody taking your ideas. So I didn't swing too long on her stuff because she had a lot of custom things. She doesn't have an online store, but I still invite you. If you go to a vintage stays near you, if she's there, go check her out. Watch me Just follow every move Now this is just one area. We haven't even gotten around to everything yet. So when we get around to everything, you guys will be able to see everything that's going on and what we're doing. So yeah. Really nice yes. stuff here, you guys. Oh, 
And then they have the taste buds, bulk coffee. Are you serious? You sell bulk mm -hmm. coffee? <laughs> Uh -huh. We sell lattes. We you sell um, the whole thing. Now over here, I do yeah, the cream. Irish, Irish cream. Um, and then over here, my yeah. husband does the bulk coffee for home consumption. Oh, shut up! <laughs> yeah, we're going over there. Now let me just say, I was so excited about this booth right here. There is another booth you're going to see me be excited about, but this was one of them for me. 100% organic. Her and her husband do this. They also make jams and different other treats and everything. And when I tell you the coffee tastes so amazing, I'm going to talk about them at the end of the video because you're going to see me make a cup of coffee but just as sweet as pie. And when I tell you that coffee was so good, you guys, that's one of the best coffees I've tasted in a while. The next booth I'm coming up to, I just love the whole decor. You see me kind of glance over and I went and met her and she is so sweet and so cute. And I loved her whole decor of her wall and everything. And I encourage you to go check her out. Her t-shirts were amazing. Now, here is the other booth that I was truly excited about. I saw it the night before, and I actually put in pictures with this one because my camera messed up on me and I didn't realize it, but it didn't do his woodwork any justice. When I tell you, if I had a gift to do this, I would, beautifully done, beautifully crafted. Oh my God, you guys, he sells on Etsy. He has, he doesn't have anything up right now because like I said, when they're doing an event, they don't post, you know, they don't post, it's just too much. But when I tell you he does some gorgeous woodwork, I was like, oh my goodness, I cannot wait to order a cutting board or even the spoons from him. It was just so amazing. Make sure it's flush to yes. the board, and then we get some of this paste. Mm -hmm. And what we do is smear it on there to make oh, sure wow. it's covered. And once it's all covered, you get anything that's extra. Okay. You get it and put it back in the, to the container. Uh -huh. the container. Okay. And then you peel it off, and voila! I love that. Now let me tell you a little bit more about them. They are chalk couture independent designers and when I tell you this was really neat for chalkboard design, they have stencils and they offer a monthly package. They do birthday parties and everything. A monthly package for $19 and you get their stencil of the month and everything you need with it including shipping. Go check them out especially if you're into chalkboarding. So we're going to head out to one of the food trucks because my kids are hungry. So yeah. my kids love the donuts all right they love the donuts i thought i got footage of the donuts before they started eating them but i didn't and i missed it and they devoured those donuts so yeah they love the donuts <laughs> Here is another vendor. They're a bear cup leather and they make all genuine leather products and everything. And it was so cute. And they, if you see, her husband had their little cup in their hand and it was just so cute. They had so many cute things. I didn't get a business card, but you'll see their link below. And when I zoom in on the sign, that is basically where you can follow them on Insta Instagram for bear cup leather. 
And also with the next booth, this was some more little children items and little children jewelry and knickknacks and stuff. So cute, so cute, so cute, so cute. And they didn't have any business cards either, but she did have the information on the bottom of the poster right here. Follow both of them on Instagram. Has some wonderful stuff. Very cute stuff. We can take it to the next level. If you let go, boy, you don't have to play smart. You guys, this clothing was so different and gorgeous. I did not give too much detail about it away because I've never seen anything like this before. You would have to go look for yourself. Oh my God, their clothing was gorgeous and it was just uniquely made. But they didn't only do clothing, they had different jewelry and stuff there too. Oh, go follow them, Flash to Trash. And I remember, all the links are going to be down below. So this was another booth me and the kids came upon and she does amazing things with rocks and jewelry and everything she even makes these little handheld mirrors that you see me looking at very sweet has an instagram and facebook page and when i tell you she has some beautiful things i'm creating a, the idea in my head for a mirror so go check them out too all right you guys we're gonna finish up and we're going to get ready to go now this has been an amazing event and we have enjoyed everything and all the vendors out here and everything they do and we encourage everybody when they're doing the vintage market days in your area to come out and support them so we're going to get ready to leave and talk to a couple of people and i'll be right back on all right you guys we're getting ready to leave and this was so much fun we enjoyed ourselves we ate we saw, we conquered, and enjoyed ourselves. So, we're gonna head to go to a racetrack for gas and other stuff. We'll see how the rest of this day go. stuff to make sub sandwiches and do stuff like that and have that. Love this stuff. This is my favorite. You have kitchen supplies. You have me at home. I'm going to buy a torch one day. Definitely going to buy a torch. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pay for our stuff and when we get in the car I'll finish vlogging and then we'll make it to the house and we're gonna relax for a little bit and then I'll show you what we're having for dinner. Alright, All right, I'll come back in a minute.
about 5 30 a.m sunday morning i am so sorry i did not close out the vlog yesterday but i didn't want to close it out because i really wanted to try the coffee which it is a hundred percent organic and it tastes so good i do use just sweet cream in my coffee and I like a little bit more cream than coffee sometimes, but the coffee flavor is so strong and it's so good and it's organic. I'm going to be purchasing from this vendor. They are so delicious. I encourage you to buy from them. It's 100% organic. They do it themselves. She does, you know, her and her husband put in the work to get this coffee done and stuff. But I am really hoping that everyone enjoyed seeing us go to the market days and everything like that and i'm hoping that you had a great time with us because we really did enjoy ourselves um also i am so glad that i was able to take you guys along with me and meet some amazing vendors and some amazing people you guys i love coffee i don't know what to tell anybody i love coffee i am i'm not a coffee snob i'm not a coffee connoisseur but i love i like what i like and that's it and i love this coffee i really do i'm gonna put this down before i drink it all in one sitting because i was gonna make a bigger cup but i said hold on let me just make a small cup right now because i have to get some more stuff done i need to drink my water first but that is so good but i really do hope you guys enjoy going to the vintage market with us and seeing what they have they travel in all over different areas and stuff so check it out um i'm gonna post their website and everything like that um down below in the description box and that way you can check them out and check and check out what they do and where they'll be located next and i encourage you to go and go see everything they have to offer they have some these people put their heart and soul into what they do they hand make their stuff they do their own crafts and they sell what they do um and i think that's something that is special because that's what i do i my cakes everything i do is made from scratch everything i do i love doing it you know and sometimes people they don't want to support you or they don't want to support anything that you're doing and it's okay because everybody has their own flavor and they like like their own thing but at the same time i do believe in supporting people when they are venturing out and doing something that comes from their heart and from their passion and stuff because i know i i enjoy the same support so i like to try to give that back to people um what else was i gonna say it's early y'all i'm tired <laughs> I woke up like this. this is what my morning face looks like if you can tell like i tell people i have no eyebrows at the end they are thin and i'm like yeah like from an old asian movie which i like but um i want you to watch next week's video because that'll give you a work day with me and what it's going to be about is how i was making the owl cake and how i did the cookies and everything for the event when we had the thursday night event for the influencers and stuff and i'm just really um appreciative of everybody having me out and meeting some of the wonderful people um the bandit baker i'm going to put her down there also she does the, she does cakes and everything um I, I I think there is something that people should know about me. I don't have a problem supporting anybody. I don't care if you do what I do. If you don't do what I do, I think God makes room for your gift. And one thing when you're venturing out in business is not to be so scared that somebody else is going to take over what you're doing. If God gave you a vision, trust his purpose. Trust his plan. Trust his road. Because he made that road and paved the way for you. So you don't have to compete in order to be seen god will open up every door that in every avenue that you need he'll also close doors that you don't need to go down so i tell people to pay attention to what you're supposed to be doing and don't worry and look at everybody else because it'll throw you off focus for what you're doing with your life and your business and the destiny god has for you me and my kids really really did enjoy ourselves um we like going to things like this i'm a big person i like going to markets and little fairs and different things like that so hopefully here soon, I'm gonna take y'all with me on some more things and some more adventures that we're gonna do. And I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, last night, all we did was eat sub sandwiches. You hear my son in the background, he's up also. <clears throat> Allergies, <clears throat> excuse us. 
yeah the weather here in texas it was beautiful this past weekend by the way so beautiful but i hope you guys enjoyed this check down below in the description box all the vendors are going to be down there and if you're not following me on instagram definitely do so i have an instagram and a facebook page follow me on instagram that's where i keep up with um, i love instagram over facebook because it's just easier for me to maintain and keep up with i do it by myself so it's easier for me so um follow me on instagram i'm actually going to have their descriptions in instagram also and follow me on facebook and like i said um some of them have facebook account a lot of them do sell um on etsy and they have online stores so i encourage you to go check them out um some of them there they don't have their supplies out right now because they're doing an event when they're doing vintage days and stuff like that they kind of close their site off just for a moment so they can concentrate on that and then they open back up but you'll hear me say that in the video I, i'm pretty sure you heard me say that in the video but i hope you enjoyed this video um like and subscribe share it with everyone you know and thank you so much for hanging out with me bye